Hello and welcome to Cooking for Noobs. Today on the show we are going to be making Italian wedding soup and this is amazing. It's creamy, it's flavorful, you're gonna love it. So let's get started. But honestly, I'm not too worried about it being like perfectly minced. Because I think I did this last time and just chopped the whole thing. And it was fine. Some people really hate kale. They say, it's just a garnish. I've heard people say that. I think my husband says that. <laughs> Four. Five. And I think this is gonna be just about six. So I'm just gonna put that in there. So that's about six cups of chopped kale. Okay, so we've got our turkey our pound of ground turkey in there a little bit more there we go okay i'm just trying to break up this grated parmesan because it's a little bit clumpy there, that's better. And I need to put a fourth a cup of this in here, roughly. Fourth a cup grated Parmesan. Two cloves of garlic. So I'm doing, sorry if that was loud. Sorry about that. Uh, here we go. I estimate that's about two teaspoons of garlic, so that's what I always do. A teaspoon per clove, or a little bit more, because I love garlic. This is my fourth a cup of semi-minced onion. Oh man, so bright. And then salt and pepper. It just says, it doesn't say a measurement, so I'm just gonna guesstimate what seems like it would be enough for. I'm guessing somewhere around a teaspoon of each. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my hands because it's fun. <laughs> I'm gonna be using my hands to form the meatballs anyway, so may as well get it started. Preheat a large pot over medium heat and add olive oil. So I'm going to do the two Two tablespoons of olive oil, maybe a little bit more, just make sure it doesn't get stuck on the bottom. This was kind of the harder part of this recipe for me, because the meatballs sort of stuck to the bottom and to each other. So let's see if it goes better this time. I put a little more olive oil this time. I'm hoping that helps. And I would say also my tip is don't worry about the meatballs being like perfectly shaped. They're meatballs. They're not supposed to be perfect. Are you meatballs? No, we're not. Okay, I'm slowly adding the stock. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna bring the heat up a little bit so we can start getting it to a boil. I have plenty of orzo. This is what, this was what was left over from the last time I did this. It's still up to there. So I've got plenty. It's a half, or is it half a cup? Three fourths a cup of dry orzo. So I've got my fourth a cup here. And there's one, two, three. So that's my three-fourths a cup. It's really good. 
It's got meatballs, it's got orso. I'm putting the kale in right now. That's six cups of cho chopped kale. All right, we got our kale in there. We got our meatballs. This is looking good. Just gonna grab a little bit here. And I'm gonna let this cool for a second. It's good, it's just really hot. Oh my goodness, that was a big meatball. <laughs> I right, thank you guys so much for joining us today as we made Italian wedding soup. It's delicious. I hope you guys love it as much as I do and I will see you guys next time. Uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below if you'd like to see more videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.